So game four of the match, Minion Pond versus Alex Condal. Minion Pond's up so two got, to one. We've got some of recurring favorites. We have Team Og showing up as well as Curse Village again. Um, and it seems to be one of the themes is a uh, no draw, just Curse Village. Yeah. Um, so you have like Plaza uh, to get some cards out of hand. Um, Forger. There's a couple of different things that let you reduce your hand size for Cursed Village, uh, but nothing crazy. Yeah, five two looks fine to me. Trading Post looks great. Yeah, you can pick up a T-Mog in a little bit if you want to turn those silvers into something good. Um, mm -hmm. You can T-Mog. There's also T-Mog Fortress into whatever you want. I guess treasuries. Um, you know, with Plaza Cursed Village, you can kind of mimic draw a little bit. Not quite, but you can get some nice effects out of that. Okay, Gladiators, more virtual money. It works great with Cursed Village. Um, thrones are also good. You don't really want to throw in a Cursed Village, but Thrones can help you... Like you could start off with Throne, Throne, play Glad, and then a Cursed Village or something. Uh, you know, the second one only draws a card, but um, yeah, yeah. I mean, thrones I are good. You'll you'll have things you want to throw in here. Yeah, yeah. You could throw in a Forager. It has a nice little village effect. Right, so How many general... coppers be thin? Probably all of them. Um, I don't know about Fountain here. I was going to say, close your eyes and just forget this kingdom. How many coppers do we want to thin? Seven. Okay. Uh, <laughs> usually my answer is going to be seven. I know Fountain is a lot of victory points, but uh, yeah, if you're a big Nocturne fan, then uh, six. Um, if you're a big Nocturne fan, then fewer than that. Three. <laughs> if you're playing with all the other rooms. But yeah, if you do, you do want to get Team Ogs and Fortresses here, you do want to get Forgers. Um, I'm surprised there's only, I'm surprised Minion Pond hasn't gotten a Forger yet. I think you still want a Forger to supplement your trading post. Um, and it's the only source of plus buy here. Um, so you're going to want to do that. Um, although you have, an, theory, theory, you have a large source of gains with Fortress into Treasury and Duchy and, and various other things. So you're not gain limited by buys here. Okay, so as I said that, they bought and gained another fortress. Um, you can also Pencil. forage fortresses forever, right? So once your trading post is longer, you pull your forager still, um, which we often see as a problem with forager kingdoms is once you run out of starting cards, the forager gets a lot worse. They're both going heavier on the transmogrifies than I would. Yeah, that would, that would be a little bit. I think I'd probably grab one and move on. Um, uh, it's not clear to me that it's not like a, it's not good here, just with the, with the synergies. Um, I kind of my build, I think, would have a few more plazas um, and cursed villages to try to get my draw kind of draw mimicking draw going, discarding copper and drawing back up cursed village, but. We'll see if they're able to align transmogrifiers with fortresses and just print out a bunch of free, free five costs, and that's going to be really nice for them. Yeah, I'm trying to think if foragers will get powered up at all. Um, it doesn't seem like there's a great reason to put silvers in the trash. You know, that being said, I was thinking about turning that transmogrifier, that fortress, into a cursed village and then trashing a silver. So I could draw three cards with the Chris Village instead of one with the Treasury. Mm -hmm. um, and this, I assume, is trashed the Trading Post already. That was, they could have had seven. And I don't think they're ever going to play that Trading Post again in this game. Would they get a gladiator? And 
Probably didn't know what to get on three here. It could even conceivably be another gladiator. Um, a ghost town is not unreasonable just to give them more draw at the beginning of the turn to make sure they find stuff to transmogrify. Ghost town doesn't work great with draw to X, though. Well, yeah, but neither of them have bought a cursed village yet, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's true. But in general, that, that, is, that is fair. Yeah, I would totally trash a treasury into a cursed village here. Um, really, none of the none of the hexes are particularly bad. Like the discard down to three is great. Gain a curse is fine. You got plenty of trashing. Gain a copper is fine. Uh, war will go through and probably find a fortress and then draw it to the mm -hmm. end. Like delirium. Um, I think they mean diluted. Diluted means they can't buy actions this turn. Yep. Um, that's fair. Um, so you could only buy Ghost Town. Um, so that's the one bad one. Um, NVS is slightly annoying. It hurts the coppers, but um, so there's like a two in twelve chance of getting a bad one, and uh, it's probably one in twelve chance of getting one that actively. No, I think it's probably three in twelve of getting a, a, a hex that actively helps them this turn. Uh, although maybe diluted is so bad that it counteracts that. Yep. Why are we buying more treasuries? Yeah, especially if you're trying to do transmogrify fortress tricks, the treasuries get in the way of that. Yep. And really, treasury is just a expensive peddler. Okay, so they're gaining some stuff off Tmog. Grabbed a throne so far and a, another treasury. Okay, they really like these treasuries. Throning the treasury. I would have considered throning the forager, but um, they can't really trigger this shuffle, I don't think. Yeah, and on top of that, they still don't have any cursed villages. Neither player. Cursed villages are still at 10. Yeah, I'm not really going to trash a fortress to gain us and a silver to gain us silver. That doesn't do anything. Okay, well, they wanted a, a fortune, which makes sense. Fortune's a very good card. Especially because Strata Axe decks tend to choke on green, so the more compressed you can make your greening, the better. And again, I don't know if we are even doing Strata Axe because we still have 10 cursed villages. Yeah, I'd certainly want to have stuck a uh, silver in the trash and be, um, you know, especially transmogrifies are good with that. Forgers are good with that. Plazas are decent with that. And, you know, having a couple cursed villages to draw up and then you've got, you know, maybe just a couple of silvers and a fortune as your non-action cards. Yep. Um, so presumably Alex will also take fortune here. Yeah, hard to imagine you don't, especially when you've got 17 in one buy. Yeah. That's what I was saying. If Locust or um, if Locust hits Fortress, you gain a free card. If War hits Fortress, either way, Fortress jumps to your hand. So there are some like nice, quite nice um, mm -hmm. boons. Spoons that you can get, or boons that are in the hex deck. Um, and especially the turn you buy Fortune, like you, you're okay with diluted, right? Right now, Alex is top decking five treasuries, so they have no chance of doing anything cool with Transmogrify right now, although they don't have one down, so it's fine. JNLs, if, if Locust trashes a card, you gain a cheaper card that shares a type with it. So given that they have several Fortresses in their deck, if they if the Locust hits Fortress, then they gain a cheaper action card, which is only Forager here. They have remedial classes. Um, you can take JNLs if you want. <laughs> Um, although usually they're at public libraries, which I assume are places that you probably aren't visiting a lot these days. I would so it looks like we are just ignoring Cursed Village and playing a pretty simple money deck that revolves around, you know, Fortune as the big payload and just drawing 
uh, with hand size neutral stuff. Yeah. Here you got to turn this trading post into a cursed village. You just got to do it. It saves this turn. You play Tmog, Forager, the Copper, and then draw four. It gives you a chance of having a really nice turn. Yeah, uh, and Famine doesn't do anything. Yeah. yeah as you see, we, we still kick off here. Um, but hopefully we find we find that fortune. So I think you wanted to play quite a earlier on when you had a better chance of a hit. Yeah, like the, your opponent only has one fortress in deck. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, again, yeah, we still see Minion Pawn has coppers and silvers. I think I wanted another forger for them earlier. Um, and again, if you run out of treasures to trash, the forger can always trash a, uh, a fortress. We'll see here. Minion Pawn's got some significant pile pressure with these two T-Mogs down in the uh, province. Um, and already has a province in hand. Uh, single province in hand. So Alex has to be very careful on what they what they buy here. Gotta throw in the T-Mog. Get that extra action. Yeah, so Minion Pawn has a win in hand here, I believe. Province into province, province into province, treasury, throne room, gladiator, fortune. Yep. Um, they didn't. No. They do have two transmogrifies. They only have one. No, they had two transmogrifies down. So. Um, yeah, they just didn't call the second one. That's just a spot you got to watch out for. Um, and honestly, that's what I'm hoping for with transmogrify, is to sneak out a win in the end game. In, uh, oh yeah, that's that's my whole goal with the card. Like, I still remember one of the early on games when I was still playing with uh, friends and we were starting to play online. Uh, I like just hoarded transmogrifies on someone, got a province and a duchy, and then just milled six or something. I tried that once great. with duplicate, and like on the last turn of the game, I got six duchies, and I still like lost because you know <laughs> six duchies does not beat you know. Five provinces. Bunch of probs. Yeah. Uh, it was a four player game. I thought it would work, but it just didn't work. <laughs> so Alex is not finding one here either, as we're seeing the, the green is clogging these decks up quite a bit. Um, I'm not able to find their, find their fortune. Fortunate. One nice trick you can do is thrown is, is is gladiator reveal the province, and then if your opponent reveals the province, you know they have it in hand for the transmogrify tricks. And then as minion pawn, you actually have the thing where you don't want to reveal the province in that situation. Yeah, I think you pretend that you don't have it if you do. Um which is the exact one case because then your opponent might buy an extra province and then you you build two provinces and just win. Here I don't know what you do with this transmogrify now, but you don't have a, you're not looking at a province. Yeah, that's really unfortunate that minion pawn missed that win. I would actually have considered um, trashing this duchy with um, Looks like we're going to trash the duchy. Trashing the duchy with transmogrify into something, or or that way. Uh, unfortunately, you have to find to find the fortune, I think. Although we're getting close. So pause. Pause and reveal the duchy. Uh, reveal the gladiator on something earlier, right? Yeah. Uh, I think they're going to get a hit no matter what. They're not going to reveal copper or silver. So they got there. GG. Uh, they had a win two turns earlier, but uh, they managed to get it out. And they're ahead, uh, ahead three to one.
Yeah, I think they could have revealed a fortress because Alex only had one fortress. They could have earlier in the turn revealed a fortress and had a higher chance of that. But it ended up not mattering. Yeah, that was one of the tricky parts of Gladiator. It really rewards you knowing what's in your opponent's deck. 